Hey everybody, welcome back to the Spin Rack. I'm here with my boys PD and Cal. Say what's up, gents. What's going on? Ready to rap. Hey, so today we're going to be talking about what happened to the MCU. We're not going to go over um, litigate, relitigate his trial. This yes, is you so have some gonna... insight. You have some insight for us. What did he get charged with? He didn't get charged with all the charges. A lot of charges got dropped. What did he get charged with? Okay, he got he got he lost. He got uh, um, an assault charge. Not the aggravated assault charge would have been more ret, which would have been a more serious thing. And he got a, um, a harassment, which was more like a misdemeanor or less than a misdemeanor, basically. I mean, this case, if you want to basically say, normally would not have gone to trial. But of course, you know, he didn't want to plead out and the prosecutors didn't want to, you know, didn't want to drop wanna, it. You know, just, just give a rubber stamp. So basically, it went to trial, and unfortunately, he lost. So, like I said, we're not going to relitigate this whole case. The catch, the question here is: that was pretty good. I'm pretty. That was pretty good. I, I'll accept that. You don't want to go there, there about it. Him being chased okay. by a woman, and he still go to jail, uh, get get charged. All right, all right, cool. You can go. Bumba fire, man! What the <laughs> heck you doing? I, I just had a going. joke. I had, to, I had to say it. Like they do. They got a ton of memes of that out there. Yes, so, there is, there's quite a few. It's this, uh, you know, I don't know what to mean. But look, what do you think is going to happen to the MCU? So look, there are a couple of options right now. Number one, fired. he's already been fired. So the question is, They're what is the MCU going to do? He was being built up to be the main antagonist in Avengers, what, five and six, basically, when they were going to have him even be a, take over the role of the basically the beyonder, you know. So the question now is, what's going to happen, right? Whether or not um, are they going to one recast? What are the options? Recast, totally scrap it, or you know do something we're not even sure about. So here yeah, I'm, I'm I'm posing it to you. What do you think is the most likely scenario, gentlemen? Uh, I'm going to start off with Cal today. Cal, you know, what's your thoughts? Sure. Well, I think Phase Four are they into Phase Five yet? Yeah, I think they're into Phase Five, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so Phase Four, Phase Five seem to have. Definitely. Well, phase four was a face down failure, and I don't know if phase five is going to be any better. But it gives you an it gives you an excuse to retool as opposed to recasting. I, I don't know if they're going to recast because you know, Kang, to be quite honest, never really got up to speed. So you don't lose anything by just saying, "Hey, you know, we have this guy for whatever in Loki and the one film with the one film with Ant Man, and we just move on from it." Okay, so then what do you think? Do you think they're going to just not um, recast? They're just going to do something totally different? I, because, I mean, the setup for Kang should have been phase four. That's where you should have had, a, I mean, there should have been a lot of setup, you know, seeds dropped, and they had the opportunity between the TV shows and the, because the films, and the films came out, even, the, you know, despite COVID, the films still came out. And we didn't get that. We got a whole bunch of other agenda that they were trying to do, a lot of social agenda that they were trying to do, but we didn't get a lot of setup for that particular, for Kang, for that particular character. Now, I, I don't know if it's worth the time to recast unless this character, you had really, really big plans, you know, for this character. And I never, I just don't see that at this point. I didn't even see that when, John, I didn't even see that when Jonathan Majors was not in trouble you know, with the with the law before he was charged or anything of that nature, I didn't see where they were going with this particular character, how they were going to execute it, or if it was even, you know, and I, I just didn't see it. Maybe other people saw it, I didn't. And I think other people were being more patient and wanted to see what was going to be the the outcome of a multiverse, a multiversal level threat as opposed to a universal level threat that we had in Thanos but I just don't see anything there to the point where they would need to recast. They can if he's a very important part of what they want to do going forward. But phase four was such a mess. I'm not, and again, I'm not sure what they want to do with phase five. I don't see the need to recast. You, but okay, then that so leads to the other things. So that, and, again? and Guardians of the Galaxy and the Marvels, those three are part of phase five. So they're, they're already out. Yeah. They're already Right, and none of those have anything. Okay. Just want to make certain. Of it. Yeah, I don't see anything Kang related in any of those films. Yeah, Ant Man was Kang. What are you talking about? No, no, I already said Ant Man. So I'm speaking okay. about Marvels and Guardians of the Galaxy. I don't see anything Kang related in those films. Loki was tell you know Loki was TV. 
I don't know if you need to re I don't believe you need to recast because I just don't see this character as being pivotal to the plan any of your plans at this point, whatever your plans may be. Okay. Petey, what's your take? I'm going with recast. If you fired, you fired them. You got you did the cross time can scene that was in um Avengers or one was it two ninety one? You did this the classic scene where you had the cross time in, in the arena cheering and um that kind of got me hyped up even though i didn't like the movie at all so it's like let's get the real movie with kang out even if you have to um do that if you're doing the kang dynasty if your next villain is going to be beyonder then i'm less likely to want to see that either so you know let's see if you can get another person because ultimately if you recast people just say Whoever's new is he's so much better. They're just gonna blindly just say that no matter what. Even if, but this guy beforehand, he was the actor. Like he was the guy that everyone was saying. And then when the reports came out, they were like, "Oh my God, the guy from um, what's the name, the Peacemaker? He's so great. He should have been. They should have done that. The, they should have had the High Evolutionary in that man. It's like, no, that's that's come on. Like, and you can't figure. You only can compare him to the other black guy. Like, come on, that's not the case. So ultimately, if you do have plans, they they have solicited the Avengers King Dynasty. We saw that sort of thing. You can drop it, but at the same time, you got plans that you thought were gonna you know pay off at some point. I would try to do the. I would try to do recasting. I think recasting in general is. I mean. You're going to find, you can find another Don Cheadle that'll take the, the role for low, saying, hey, this role doesn't really work that much, so you're going to have to take scale. You're going to think, you're going to take, a, what do they call that? Um, you, know, you know, take the lowest rate to do this role. But ultimately, hey, you got plans, you got the movie, so, so, and they've thrown out, they've thrown out the Serpent Society because that was like the second Captain America movie was supposed to be, or maybe the third was supposed to be the Serpent Society. So, they can throw it out, but ultimately, as a as a fan of the character, I wanted to see the character when he was in Secret Wars and they killed him on like in issue two or something like that. And it's just like, well, what is? Why would they do that? And then that became kind of the thing, right? He said, oh, okay. Then Roger Stern had a point where they killed what seemed to be the key Kang in this cross time Kang story, and then I think Walter Simonson had a story on his last issue of Avengers, but he got he got moved out, but we got the original Kang in there and we were like, oh, wow. And it was kind of a fun stuff. So it was like, but Marvel hasn't been doing fun stuff with them. So I kind of, I could be on the side of Cal to get rid of it, but I want to see Kang kind of played out in a successful way. And I don't think what they've done so far has been successful. So in the Avengers movies, if they can get it up to where they did uh, so what's that? Like, who's the name? Thanos. Some of the stuff they had where he just like showing up mad and then he picks up the defender and going, I got to do it myself type of thing where we didn't really get to see what he was going to be. And once he came to in the Infinity War, it was everything that we would have wanted outside of actually having death there. So um, they, you know, they can out of nowhere come up with a good movie with it. So let's see what's going to happen. But if we got the Beyonder coming next. I'd rather go with Kang. Let Kang, he's a real Avengers villain. Loki's actually a Thor, a Thor, originally a Thor villain, even though he's the first character. And of course, they've had villains that aren't the heavyweighters, like the Space Phantom and some other ones. But Kang is a real Avengers villain. And we finally got one in there. Um, was it Thanos' first um, appearance? in the Iron Man issue. So it's like Avengers are key on borrowing villains. So then you go here and then you get Dr. Doom or someone like that. It's just like, okay, we just use, you know, Avengers are big money and we'll just pick Galactus, like that sort of thing. They're all villains of other characters. So, you know, we, you already did Ultron. Let's get, let's try to stick with another Avengers villain. So but let's, let's play this out a little bit more. So if we did a recast, mm -hmm. we want to recast, I mean, like there's been a fan favorite, um, I think there's an image in not the Denzel image, right? No, screen. It was the Boyega image, okay. But Boyega has already has said several times that he doesn't want to do it, you know. Um, so I mean, I'm not sure if if they need to throw more money or whether he gentleman's he's thing. Huh? It's a gentleman's thing. I know that guy. <laughs> yeah. 
Wow. He's like, I'm not doing this. Yeah, maybe he's a friend. Who knows? You know, but he he said no. He's not really interested in doing it. So if not him, who could do it? You know, Cheeto. Uh, Don Cheeto could do it. John Cheeto. <laughs> John Tito has a character already. Yo, dude, don't let me have to stick my foot through the television. He did it before. So when they got they they recast and he went in before. Okay, you know what? Cal, <laughs> if they had to recast, who would you recast? Who if you had to? That's what I'm asking. Not, not, not that they should or shouldn't. If you had to recast, who would you who is there an actor or two that you have in mind that you think should should be him? Who should be Kang? Who could be Kang? Uh Hey, get Charlie, uh, get Charlie Hunnam. Make him king. Nah, he doesn't have that. You know who would be a good king? I think. Oh, man, just, just a ton at the top of mind. You need someone who's like an intense guy, who wants to, who who wants to to do very very well. Um, what's his name? He's done. He's always played these roles where he's like the the. Very Wesley Snipes. Nice. No, I mean, I wasn't even thinking in terms of a brother. I was thinking about somebody else altogether. You know, okay. there's a lot of white guys we can go through. Who, and not Josh Brolin, because he's already played two characters already. How do we even talk about Josh Brolin? Man? He did two Marvel characters. He could do a third. I, I'm trying to help you jog your memory so you can say the person you want to say. No, I'm saying it should be along the guy who's Mashallah Ali, who's playing um, Blade. If that movie ever should come out, you know, someone as intense as that dude. He'd have time to do it because he has a small part in Blade, so he could have a dual part. <laughs> I'm just saying, whoever it is has to be intense. Setting them uh, up, like, knocking them out. Yo, know, so it's like it, it's killing me. <laughs> <laughs> you know, um, Boyega is, is to me would I would not have been my best pick because he 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 just because he's Boyega is just I don't get that intense intensity of um mm -hmm. of character. I hear you. So that's that's the difference. You have Kang is someone like I thought Jonathan Major did a great job in Ant Man, right? I thought he played Kang how I felt he played him. You know, this dude had a bigger purpose. You know, I'm not gonna be stuck here. I'm gonna I'm gonna break out of myself. I'm gonna do whatever I can. But even though I can, can't get out of myself, I'm gonna conquer everything here. And I think just the, the the way they wrote that story wasn't as strong as could possibly have been. It was enjoyable, but it wasn't as strong as it possibly could be. But that Kang intense as hell, you know. And I'm like, yo, you have that fire. No matter what, Kang is gonna is gonna is gonna take over, right? So we, I'm just saying it has to be an actor who has a level of intensity that you know is consistent and throughout that you can really feel like, yo, this guy's coming in and he's just gonna just wipe the floor with everybody, you know. Um, he's not the most powerful guy, he does, but he he. With his technology and his knowledge at the time, that he could do different things. And you remember, this is the whole reason he was thrown there to the quantum world because the other Canes couldn't trust him, right? So, I again, so that would be my. Arch, I don't have a specific person, but that would be the the basis of that. Who could who could fill that role that way? You know, that would be the number one characteristic that I'm looking for. Mm. Okay, so we'll go on past that now. So now let's say we decide to. We decide not to recast, not to not to recast. We say, "Hey, we're gonna throw this out the, the the door." Who do you think should be the the I guess the villain of the the villain who will, who will take over the role of Kang? You know, I mean, Galactus. No. Doctor Doom. No. Mephisto. No. You know? I'm passing no. this one to Cal. I'm passing this one to Cal. Not not you, PD. Because you had way too many jokes there. Okay. I don't know. You're pretty. You're, you're pretty much stuck. If you want to have a threat level that's going to top Thanos, I mean, Thanos was great, but that's really like a villain you might have wanted to use, like in Phase Fifteen, <laughs> you know. And you might have wanted to got to somebody like Galactus first, where first you had the planet level threat, then you had the universal level threat. But you know, you already went universal, then you wanted to top that, of course. So you want to go multiversal, and who else do you really? Who else do you really have at this point? Galactus. So, Galactus isn't. Uh, you know, Galactus doesn't want to end the universe. He's part of the universe. He's trying to survive himself. That's he. To be honest, after what they went through, a lot of people look at Galactus as small potato, and he's really not. So I, I don't know what type. It really depends on what type of story you're going to want to execute here going forward. With Thanos, 
we understood that Thanos wanted to decimate half of the population of the universe for his own evil and misguided reasons, whoever you're bringing in and the threat level that they're going to have has to be really attached to a compelling story. Otherwise, it just doesn't make any sense. It, it's, it's very much up in the air. I thought Kang, I thought Kang was suitable because Kang could attack you from a whole bunch of different levels in time. And that's something that definitely would surpass what the, the threat level that Thanos posed. But now I'm, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm actually really struggling in, you know, in terms of like, what's a good Avengers villain that would come in right here and could, you know, and could take the, and could take this on. And I'm really not coming up with anything. Well, I would say I'm just quickly thinking about it, but it's not going to be your five movie setup. It's going to be one good movie, which would be just a fun movie. It's going in, and you have the the fake out with the well, no, you had to establish the villain. The lead villain would be Count Nefaria. You do the super Count Nefaria, but that would just be like one movie. But you could, it would be a fun movie because you have you have the Avengers get attacked by either the elite, lethal legion or you have Nefarious steal some of their powers to become the super powered character that can't be beaten that's like mowing down the Avengers. So uh, Nefarious seems to be someone they could set up. I don't know if you could plan to make him bigger after that, but I think it would just be a fun third movie to say, hey, who are the Avengers? We, we got this problem and it leads into this problem that seems to be unstoppable, which Nefario became for like three issues in the Avengers, which was, um, well, they did a later story with that, but um, it was like, was it 164 through 166? And the big impulse was Thor coming down and we find out that this guy is even more powerful than Thor, so, you know. Actually, the Secret Wars storyline, not the first Secret Wars, but the second one, you could do that. That would actually be pretty good. The second you one? You going with the second yeah. one? Good yeah, Lord. Not Secret Wars. Not Secret Wars two. The second Secret Wars series, two twenty fifteen. Which what the one who was who wrote that was that was where they actually had the characters fighting each other? Well, oh, no, you're talking about the big story. Okay, the big storyline. That big one that yeah, had the, you know, the battle. Battle world and all that stuff. Oh, okay. That that's that's it's, that's too insane for me. But I mean, I think no. I think that's lot. exactly the plan that they're going to use the battle world, and I think that's where you have the whole Avengers. They they very mooted that already. So it's going to be two Avengers movies, um, and that's where you get the the Kang is beyond it. But look here, what I'm trying to get to is that who could possibly be it, right? And you know, I think that I, you I found it. You really searched and you finally found someone. Let me look. No, no. I, I, I I've been thinking about this before. Once he went on trial, we need to introduce. I think the thing we need to look at is that we need to introduce a character, some characters that are not currently there. The benefit of Kang is you have the multiverse there, but you know where I disagree with Cal is that he's like, well, it has to be a universal. No, it doesn't have to be a universal villain. It has to be a, a, a vision of uh, a, a, a villain that threatens Earth itself and the existence of the population on Earth. You know, unfortunately, they've set up that whole multiverse, and you know these movies take a long time to do. So you have, I guarantee you, they're probably already working out what Avengers 5, the, the action scenes, the VFX scenes, are already probably in there. You can probably slot somebody in or out, right? Um, no. If you want to change the movie. But it's not, you, they're already working on it. I think they said the last time when they were doing um, um, Endgame and stuff like that, they had been working on it for like three years, you know? So think about it. If it's coming out in 2025 or 2026, they're already working on that sucker, you know? So um, you're saying it's the Fast and the Furious, because that's what the Fast and the Furious does. They do their action yeah. scenes, and then they plug in the story around it. And I think that's where it's that's what they're gonna do. And that, I think that. And you're that, okay that, with that. that? As long as it's good, bro, I don't bother. But getting back to what I'm saying, if we're gonna do a recast, I think there's probably only two options. You know, there's one that's good, there's this okay, and there's one that's great, right? Okay, what is it? And we have to choose, and we have to choose a villain. Excuse me, an antagonist. I like saying villain because it, it, it paints people in the wrong light. Don't say Bokeem Woodbine. Don't say Bokeem Woodbine. I'm not, I'm not saying recast. I meant to say if we have to go scrap the whole um, Kang, I'm thinking that there's only like really one really good choice. But, you know, another choice that's, that's, that's okay would be. All right. Come on. Hey, okay, I'm going to tell you right now Apocalypse. 
You know, it's an X-Men Apocalypse, villain. Apocalypse, Apocalypse has already connected it's with X-Men uh, villain. I mean, hold on one time. He was already connected with Kang, right? Right? Not he's, really, he, no. Right? Yeah, he, he they showed that he fought with Kang. And the fact that we're bringing the X-Men, this is a perfect way to bring the X-Men into Oh my Apocalypse. God. Oh my yeah, God. Saying, again, yeah. that's not my number one choice. That's not clearly my number one choice. The number one choice is like it. Like, the number one choice without any choice, I mean, that that no one can deny. It's only one person, you know, one 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 antagonist. Good Lord. Who don't no 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 don't do it. 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 It is Doctor no. Doom. I already said we no Doom. The, we can go against the X Men. No Doom. Doctor Doom has the ability to do it all himself. No you know? no no no. no. Like, the account just said, hey, you know, in 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 2015, we also have him in Secret Wars where he takes over. He is the perfect person to use. You can't go wrong with a Doctor Doom. So that's all I gotta say, Spinarak. <laughs> well, you what is this now? You say what you want to say and the show is over? When did that when did that start happening? Who who said that? You I did. gave you guys a chance to discuss something. I gave you guys you guys were wrong in the way you guys brought it up, and I corrected it, and then I said PD didn't say. Yo, I'm gonna summarize everything for us, and I'm summarizing. No, I didn't say right that now. for this. I didn't say that for this. I thought you had summarized at the very end of the time. Or were you no, trying I to said summarize yeah. the movie that we watched so we can then oh, okay. review it. That no, the council had to correct you on. So that uh, went pretty well. So that's how it's rocking, huh? <laughs> but let me say, three people back me. Two people, three people back me. In what I was saying. So you tell me. What are you talking about the, the well you, did you respond to the people that agree with your your review? No. I always I always agree. This is your fan, the the people that gave you some love and you said, you know what? Hey, hey, this is not the time or place, which is a different <laughs> thing. We'll discuss that later. Okay. Okay. So Cal, you wanna you wanna say one or two things? About what? About what you said? I Doctor Doom clearly. I I do agree with one thing that you said that, and I, I do think yeah going forward you could probably make a very compelling storyline and just focus on how it affects people on Earth without having to make it universal. But it has to be something that's very, it has to be tightly focused, like a, uh, you know, like almost like a, I hate to say the zombie virus. But like a zombie virus and it still affects the superheroes, that type of thing, where you know it, it, it's uh, an extinction level, it's an extinction level threat. Well, this isn't going to be half, this is going to be everybody. And then you, and, you know, but in the same way, in, in the same way, where you know, not just the characters are lost, but it's very crucial, but it's very crucial that this thing gets done. You know, time is of the essence, you know, the normal things that you throw in in terms of complication and suspense. And you know, yeah, I think if you do that, you can just keep it local. You can keep it localized. I don't know how you would do that with Galactus, though. I just don't know how. Because somebody, somebody, you already did this thing with the Celestials, and you had Thanos. So it does take a, a lot of the punch of a character like Galactus out, who was created before any of those, you know, particular characters. But you know, you know, we're going to see him event. We're going to see him eventually. So we'll we'll see how that goes. I just hope they don't punk him. And turn them into this one-shot villain, like they did Unicron and Rise of the Beast and Transformers, where you all you get. To, well, that's what they pretty much did in the uh, the second Fantastic Four movie. We we didn't even get to see him. We just saw like some shadowy purple and black gas, and then he was gone. So if you're gonna cool. bring him in, you know, bring him in, and like really, you know, they they you they should definitely be informed by the comics of Galactus. But since they're doing this, and it's gonna be film film being heavy visual. You know, they can't do the stuff that they did in the comic where he's setting up the, you know, the machine to consume the planet, that type of stuff. They, they really do have to make this guy out to be the primordial being that he is. And he's a lot more powerful than the character like Thanos at the end of the day. So, we'll see, you know, I, but I do agree. If they, if they focus and they put their mind to it, they could just make this something, they could make this strictly an Earth-driven story and it would be fine. And then that throws out the whole multiverse that they've been building for the last... Phase four and the Loki, and, and don't forget the end of Loki. They set up not necessarily where you have Loki now holding all the strands of the time, of uh, of the um time. So he's holding it and controlling it, like theoretically what Kang was doing. So they could also be, what if Loki goes bad again, rogue, rogue again? 
you know, since he's now controlling the whole. Would he GTA. let go of the fake Yagrasil? Like he just lets go and goes and does something else? And then we have the whole Magilla happen again? I, I don't know. I, to me, I don't know. That's what that's um the God level of uh, Loki, right? The story of Loki where he can create his own story. That's not Loki. Loki would out. not sit around there holding the strands of time. I know. Strands, strands, trans, strands of timelines. He wouldn't be doing that. He'd be doing what Did you say strands or trans? I did not. You know I did not say that, but Sure. All right, guys. So look, MCU has no good spots to go. Either recasting and finding an author, an actor who's just strong enough to to hold the lead, and and basically he's going to be the lead, the, the lead antagonist in two two big movies, or totally recast and bring somebody something totally, and of course still also bring another actor. Unless there's somebody hidden within the MCU movies that we've seen that we've totally missed and could possibly come. Um, a threat later on. Like who? Cuckoo Khan. Cuckoo Khan. <laughs> Your first X Men character in the West Wing. In the West Wing. Uh, and for all of that, why did you throw Fing Fang Foom in there? <laughs> I was thinking, uh, what if they finally decide to do a serious thing and, and, and give the rings? The um, what's his name? He's the only. He's a good guy. Mandarin? He's Mandarin. a good guy now. Have the Mandarin have the actual rings of power. The Mandarin, the Mandarin is a good guy now. He's a Shang Chi has the rings no. now, so you don't have no rings. What's the name? Took the rings. Oh please, that, that, that's not the Mandarin. That wasn't the Mandarin to begin with. I know. They 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 call me an orange or a general. One of the two. <laughs> <laughs> if anyone can say you that. Know what I mean. The stewardess comes and says, know, know. Says, or a general, it doesn't have to be an orange. Shut up. <laughs> Atomatizes her. <laughs> that would have been a fun like, scene. Do you know what a Mandarin is? A Mandarin is an orange. No, it's not. Not in China. <laughs> <laughs> All right, gents, let's, let's wrap it up. Any other further thoughts? If you, if you were in China and you said, hey, bring me a Mandarin, you brought an orange, you would have been executed. <laughs> Any further like, no, you there? idiot. <laughs> You you asked for it. You asked for that one. Who, me? Yeah, the Mandarin would be cool if we did the real one and he had Fing Fan Foom saying, hey, already laid waste to Japan. Now we're going for the rest of the, we're going for China. We're just going for the rest of the earth and the Avengers have to come through. And then you realize that the ring, they already did it in the cart. The cartoon did it, but they did it so quickly. They did the, the dragon saga and um and the Mandarin doing this thing, but it was like like 15 minutes, and it's like, you could have really done a big thing out of this. But then again, that's an Iron Man story, so. Who is in the Avengers? So, whoa, guess what? You know that's the, the Iron Heart story problem. now. You know what the biggest problem is that the Marvel Universe has for itself? They decided they wanted to go their own way, that they wanted to tell their own stories, and they didn't want to be beholden to the comics. And now since they created this universe that, to be quite frank, they went their own way. They're not beholden to the comics. It's like, okay, so what are you guys going to do? And I don't know if they have any whole cloth ideas that work. All right. Say that again. Again, so the world hears it. Say it again. They went to say the whole episode. thing and again. No, you know, need to hear it again. The Marvel, no, the, the Marvel, you know, the Marvel Universe, the Marvel Cinematic Universe did not want to be beholden to the comics. They didn't want to be informed by the comics. They wanted to go their own way. They wanted to tell their own stories. And now here they are. They, they went in their own way. They are not beholden to the comics. But because they're so distant from the comics, they're like, okay, so what are you guys going to do with whole cloth? Because you distance yourself so much from your source material. What are you going to do now? And I'll only add, that's why the soup is so thin. It's like, oh, we spread ourselves too thin. Because you didn't back all that stuff up with comic books. You backed it up with all your own stuff. So that's just the tack on to the end, to, to, you know, the tiny bit after all of the, the, the major part that Cal that has added a tiny part there. So that's the thing you got to remember. They tried it. It ain't work. That's not, you stick to the comics. Dude, the biggest selling movies, they've changed dramatically from the comics. The whole um, um, end game stuff, that was changed. Yeah, but like the song behind. says, like the song says, that was then, this is now. <laughs> 
what do you got now? I'm surprised you aren't saying this because you usually miss it. Hey, what have you done for me lately? Let's look at your box office numbers now. Let's look at your numbers now. And now you say, oh, well, you know, no. Walked you into another one. Okay. You did that. Oh, Up until Endgame, you could do that. Endgame, they decided, all right. They, but they were still there. They were still there. They were still making some changes, but the source material was still very much there at the end of the day. Okay, great. Then you went phase four and decided, no, 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 no. We're going to, you know, you know, we're going to have our own universe. These characters are going to look different. We're going to do all this other type of stuff. We've got the social agenda going on. We're going to do this. All right, great. Now what do you do? You lost your lead. You know, you lost your lead for the villain. It's not very clear what the setup is. Of course, you want to try to resemble that success that you had, but you distance yourself so far from your, from your foundation. Where can you go? If you had stayed there, I can see you transition. Okay, we're not going to do Galactus. What are you gonna, we're not going to do Kang. Okay, we can do this right over here, or we can do something else. But because you decided to reinvent the wheel on so many different levels, what do you do now? Look, I think you, you make some very, very um, valid points. You know, I'm not going to fight any of those there. But I, I will point out, I will point out that the stage five and four were more of uh, our stages where, you know, it was taking us to some place, and that's stage six, and that's where we're going to see some of the big changes and, and differences coming in. And you know, in stage five, right now, we're going to have the next movie that's going to come out. I believe what is Deadpool, right? In 2024, and after that, there's going to be nothing. They're doing a whole that's movie. not really that's like a that's but like that's they, that's they're all the mean. money you can offer. Like they say, they're redoing the whole X3 last scene. Like, why they're not going to make they're just going to make fun of it. Yeah, but what I'm trying to say is that I think we're going to have a different take on, on many of these different issues coming up, particularly since, you know, there's been a whole change in regime over at Disney. And the deal is that, you know, they're spreading themselves too thin and they want to bring out better quality um, shows. They want to make the Marvel movies or Marvel characters stand out more. So I think we're going to see a change in how things are being approached going forward. But I don't think this multiverse thing is going to go away. It's just too big. They've done too many things to touch it to make a difference right now. Um, in terms of yeah. that, that's all well and that's all well and good. And that's cool. But what are you gonna do? I'm not, you can keep you can keep the multiverse. You can get rid of the multiverse. It, that's not the point. The point is, if you keep the multiverse, what are you gonna do with it? If you get rid of the multiverse for all the time that you invested in this, well, what are you gonna replace it with? So it all comes back to the same thing. What do you do now? Right, what are you gonna do now? Like what about Eddie Murphy the, said in his great comedy, you drop your pistol when you jump through the window. What you gonna do now? But I'm saying I guess like, that's your ass. Yeah. But I'm saying what happens when what happens now that the blip they're not even talking about the blip anymore, right? Thank you goodness. Know, it's such a big thing. What happened to the to the to your effect? What happened in, in, in um in um was that um Captain America, uh, I mean uh, Captain Falcon and, and Winter Soldier where that was such a big it, it caused so many different issues. You know, social issues and stuff like that. You had the blip in Spider Man, and the last couple of movies we haven't heard a daggone thing about the blip. The blip was the blip. What's the name? The blip was the name. Captain Marvel. Marvel. The blip was a mistake. They should have yeah, never done true. it. It You're didn't right. make any sense, to be quite honest. It was such a, it was such an anachronism in what they wanted to do. You had people coming back who were still 13 years old. Everybody else is four years older at the end of the day. And they're like, okay, everybody's got readjusted. You got people coming back and they're like, oh, I don't have my house anymore because it's been sold. What do I do now? It was ridiculous. They should have just done the normal thing of what? Everything goes back to the way it was. But then they said, oh, no, we want to have real world consequences. And this, you, the real world consequences that you guys were talking about were untenable. You would have had a civil war worldwide. You should have just put everything right back the way it was, with the exception of the stuff that you didn't want to change, okay, and just localize those particular things, and that would have been fine. You could have said, hey, well, why is my daughter still here? I tried my best, and I wish that your daughter was here. That's how I lost my arm. Great, and everybody else is, everybody else is back at the end of the day. Well, why didn't you bring back Natasha? I could only bring back one, you know, I could only bring back one, Tony, and I know that she would have wanted your daughter to live. And the story, not very hard, right? Pretty good, right? Pretty good. I like that. Or well, you could just get rid of the daughter too. Get rid of the, the let the daughter go. Sorry to solve say, solve the whole Marvel universe. All solve the whole Marvel universe blip issue and 
in two lines. <laughs> well, like they can that. stop talking about the blood of God. <laughs> Mm -hmm. well, I tend to say, I think we're definitely straight off topic. Um, so, is there anything else to add before we wrap it up? Um, no, I guess not. Okay, so I'll summarize in our in our dis uh, discussion. Here we, we go. Agreed that after Doom, Here possibly the last will be the the, uh, the 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 solution. If the people are poor and not back, but their villains are so. We will continue to run over all of the Fantastic Four's ground in the in the microverse, which was a Fantastic Four <laughs> area. Now we're getting doomed. Like, come on, how much more of the Fantastic Four? And then say they didn't have uh, that guy from who played the scroll play. That's who's a scroll? Who's a who's a? Oh, oh, oh no, he was actually in the Hulk. That was a Peter David joke. That that one was a mutant, a mutant scroll who couldn't transform into anything. So that was a, a Peter David joke, but the scrolls of Fantastic, Fantastic Four characters. So that's another retread that Mar that the Marvel just mowed over and turned them into nice guys. Uh, you want me to First keep all, going? They, 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 have, they have tons, of, Fantastic Four has tons of villains that they can go back to, okay? Tons Terminus. of Fantastic Four Terminus. villains. Terminus Not of Avengers Terminus. villains. You, were like, saying, you want to go to the X Men too? You want to take Apocalypse and put him in the Avengers movie? All I'm saying yeah, is, Fantastic, you have Fantastic villains, Four has better villains. You can mm -hmm. use the villains that are ready for Fantastic Four, but there's some villains, excuse me, antagonists that transcend Fantastic Four. Galactus clearly transcends. Uh, I mean, even Thanos. Even Thanos transcends. originally is not. Thanos originally is not a, an Avengers villain. He's uh, and, and, and to be honest, he's an extension of the Fantastic Four since he's one of these. Uh, it, He's one of these Eternals, and you know, with the Kree and everything of that nature. So he's pretty much an extension of, of, of one of those villains, anyway. The, the, uh, the, the, the Avengers, who's the Avengers? The Avengers are uh, the masters of evil. Kang, those are the big guys. Right, but I'm just saying, right now, you can the biggest gang. Um, we could have uh, Mephisto. We can have um, Doctor Doom. We can have Galactus. Did you say those gang guys. or gay? What? Did you say gang or gay? Said Mephisto, Doctor Doom. I think you said the biggest gang or the biggest gay. The, the biggest villain. I mean antagonist. You know. Okay, just making sure. <laughs> antagonist. Can your radar is on? I don't know why it's so high today. You know, but we can. They, they, they've transcended the, the the Fantastic Four, and so we don't have to. Stop do that. saying that. Stop there's saying tons, that. There are tons of Fantastic Four villains you can go back to and find. Okay. No, they're not there to just be picked and choose, and then say, "Hey, I can't do a Fantastic Four villain. I just use Kuku Khan yeah. in the Black Panther movie. I can't use this one because I did Quantum Mania." I can't use this because of that, like all that other stuff. We can't have Perla. We can't have Perla in the quantum verse because we got this muscle bound chick that's some related to something else. It's like, why can't we have Perla? Perla is then like I was I digress fell in love with the human torch, no. and then when she meets the human torch no, later, not. she's like, "Hey, I'm princess." We're not digressing. I'm, I'm, I'm Stand right. <laughs> No, that's the same thing they did. They did the Supergirl show. What did Supergirl do? Supergirl took every single Superman element that they could get. They took everything that wasn't nailed down. If it wasn't nailed down, they ripped it up. Make up your own stuff. Use your own villains. This is not Fantastic Four villains or Fantastic Four villains. The it's, idea is not to come over and take all the great Fantastic Four villains and then Fantastic Four is left with who? Those bank robbers that they fought in issue, what, 334? No. <laughs> They got Terax. They got Abraxas they can work on. They got Terax is connected to Galactus. Come on. And then you go, Braxis, come on. What are you talking about? They're like a low but, level Galactus that's supposedly power, more powerful than Galactus. Come on. Molecule Man. <laughs> the, Namor. Um, um, who else? Black uh, Panther just used Namor. That's what, come on. You don't get it when I keep saying the Cuckoo Khan, the, the X Men character? I got it. Well, I'm saying we can throw him back. We can throw him back. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Yeah, they want to give what is it? You want to give you want to give the Fantastic Four one of those early X Men villains like El Tigre or something. And say, here you go, <laughs> love it up, guys. Yeah, love it up. Oh, by the way, that was a Namor. I don't know who that guy was, but that guy was a Namor. <laughs> it was the Cuckoo Cuckoo Khan. 
Go and puppet that master. goes right back to what I was saying earlier. They decided, oh, we want to do our own thing. So now you look over here. That wasn't Namor. That wasn't Atlantis. I don't know what the heck that was. <laughs> I don't know what that was. So now if you look at the story, you're like, okay, well, all the stories that you could have done with Atlantis that are already there and they're mapped out for you. And you could have said, okay, we could just plug right into this. No, you decided you wanted to do Aztecs underwater. I'm not against the Aztecs underwater. I'm just against the the the, the fact that they change the character if so you much. You are creating your own universe. Great. If you have in a universe that's already established and you're using those characters, and you are arrogant enough to believe that you don't need that source material in order to keep things going you end up where you are right now with phase five, which is up the creek. El Diablo. It, look, the thing, no, there's <laughs> Diablo. He, 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 there's let me guess. He's looking, he's, he's looking up these villains right now on his computer, right? Look at his eyes. I'm looking yep. it up there's right there's, there's Diablo up. and DC has El Diablo. There's two I'm, tr I'm, trying, yeah. I'm, try I'm trying to help you guys. That's what I'm trying to say. I'm sure yeah, El Diablo, yeah. El Diablo is the guy who, who yes. rides on horseback. All I'm saying is that Doctor Doom transcends the Fantastic Four, so we don't. Keep no, it. He, no does he does not. Galactus no, transcends the Fantastic Four, so we don't have to. Keep no, he it. doesn't. But you no, got El Diablo. You got um, Terax. You El got El Diablo is the DC villain. He's like Zorro. He rides on a horse. Okay. He's got a Fantastic oh, Four villain. Mad Thinker. You got. You know, oh my the god, you got a list. You got the, the poor man's the poor <laughs> okay, man's okay. writer. It's like when you're a kid and you want to write and you just say, here, I got the list of villains, and then I'll just do a story about this and that and that one and that one and that one instead of saying I was stuck in, we uh, craft it. Yeah, that was like the list we had for deck comics. <laughs> That's how you gotta start. That's kids though. Mars. Yeah, come on. Like throw the dart on here. Here we got the villains and we got these heroes. And we need to come up with X amount of stories with all these heroes. All right. I'm saying, I'm saying that I'm saying from experience too. That's how you start out. Oh, it's fine. Disney it's though. Fine. Not kids. Huh? Fine, we had a ream of paper. We had 500 sheets of paper and a whole bunch of adventure to go with it. Now, the whole thing would have worked out if not they hadn't. Well, even in fourth grade, you still have infighting. So there, there you go. You could have been big. <laughs> we, would have been, we would have been Image Comics before Image Comics. Yeah, I think we would have tore, we, we tore each other up before that. So I don't think it would have made it any closer. So listen, gentlemen, let's wrap it up. So All right, can you summarize let's wrap us up. again? What? Want me to summarize huh? us again? No, we don't. No. This is how we got to the other thing. I think ultimately <laughs> no. the, the hard part is, is that you had to go back to the comic books. And instead of saying, you know what? When we leave the end of Thor, we're going to leave him with Hela's curse. So it'll be, you know, he won't be as powerful as he was. And he had to go through anything. We get to the Thor almost dying in the fifth movie. No, we're going to do Fat Thor. They never did Fat Thor in any of the Thor comic books. So well, Taika Waititi's leaving. I think Taika Waititi leaving after this yeah, last Mr. movie. Yeah, I don't. I don't. I never liked Thor. And read. I read when I read him. I said, "Ugh, that's the guy they let take over Thor." What do you say? Ugh, not gay enough. Chance, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think we've, we've gone on the course. Spinarak out. We're out. We're waiting for yeah, this. So we get the reaming now. Here it comes.